Okay, uh, this is a YouTube about hydroponic pepper plants. Uh, this pepper I got from the supermarket and it's an experiment. I'm using a 4 inch PVC here. And then I make some holes on it to put the, the rocks and the, and the water goes through here. From here goes inside by a water pump. I know it's in a it's right there is a 55 gallon water bucket. The water with the nutrient comes from there goes through these holes here goes through these holes and goes through here and here is divided so this is cilantro and those are tomatoes and what I'm going to be talking is about this pepper plant here see pepper plants are very big already they are very tall and they're going up and they got a, a lot of peppers here are the peppers right there here too this is another one with a bunch of peppers too you see the, the system, this system works very good really, it works very good I got like 10 pepper plants and there is some big pepper here too you see this one very big got three here you can see very big peppers this is another one here this one has like six already six big ones they can be taken right now but I'm gonna let them ripe until they get uh, yellow or or, uh, or or red so I can pick them up this is another one here another plant as you can see it's full with peppers I don't know if it's gonna be clear because of the sun as uh, this is another one, another pepper plant here. This is a really big pepper. Look at that. And this one is kind of with flower, but the plant is yellow, so I'm gonna be replacing this one. I got a bunch of small ones right here in this other uh, two-inch PVC. This is two-inch. And it grows very good. I got this one here. Uh, it can be seen clear. The only thing is the sun. This one has like a, a six pepper. And it's going up. I had a small one here. This is an hydroponic system and it works real good. This is a tomato plant. As you can see, this is a water bottle with some rocks in there. And the pepper plant goes it's growing very good. It's starting to produce some flowers on some of that one there. There's another pepper plant here. This one has four pepper. And it's growing up too. I have this is the last one here. Uh, a bunch of flowers, no peppers on this one for some reason. The flower fell on this one. But as you can see, that's uh, right there is my uh, 55 gallon uh, bucket of water with nutrient. And this goes up here, then it comes down the PVC again to this rail here. You can see the water comes here drop here and then it goes down here to the bucket again 
Very simple system. See, in this kind of uh, hydroponic, you can grow a uh, like I have up here. This is a uh, cilantro. Cilantro. These are the tomatoes plant. They look very good. And this is a uh, lettuce. I got lettuce here too. This is for my own use. I have produced some of them for sale, but this is uh, it's very hard to sell because there there are a lot of people growing the same thing. And this one is growing like kind of yellow because I guess the nutrient, I got to change the water again. And these are the tomato plant here. As you can see here, maybe you cannot see, but there is some little flowers coming out of here. That's right there. And I have some pepper plant back here, back there too, some pepper plant. But this system works. The only thing, the only problem with this system is if the, if the electric goes out, I don't have a backup system on these things. If the electric goes out, then our, everything would die here. So I got to, to find a way, some money to make a back backup system with a solar power so when the electric goes out then the solar power kick up and you get the power so that your plant do not die as you can see those pepper plants are going up and they keep growing they keep growing up and down here under I have a recow this is recow I just letting this recow uh, growing a lot of seeds so I can plant more recow here. But you should, when you have recow like this plant here, you can see the leaf here. These are the leaves that we use, and these are the the seeds. When you growing recow, you cut this, you cut this uh, shoot. You don't let them grow. And then the, the the leaf they will go they will grow longer, but I'm letting that uh, seed because I need some seed out of this one. That is a good system. I got some seeds here that I'm getting dry already. So when they're dry, you just take them like that and you just drop it everywhere so you can get more plants. Uh, that's it that's it guys for now uh, today I'm gonna be uh, doing some pollination here with my uh, pitaya plant dragon fruit plant I have a dragon fruit just one fruit that is gonna be opening this one is gonna be opening tonight probably after six o'clock and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing some hand pollination on it and then in the morning the bee, the bees the honeybee will take over and do some pollination too. I I, I want to to eat dragon fruit. They're so so good. So flavor. Last year I got like like five dragon fruit. And this year I got like uh, probably eight or nine. These are the little flower here. I didn't get that much this year but and happy with five or uh, with eight or ten uh, dragon fruits. So this is all for now, guys. Uh, one thing: if you want to, if you want, you can subscribe to my videos. And everybody who subscribe to my videos, I will subscribe to your videos. One hundred percent. You get my subscription too. So if you subscribe to my video, I will subscribe to your video. No problem with that. So we can make all of us, we can grow together here on those uh, YouTube uh, channel. It's not that easy. And I have here, this is a sugar apple. And in a few days it's gonna be ripe and I'm gonna be eating this thing too. 
That's so good. I like fruit. Okay, that's all for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I will subscribe to your videos. Bye-bye.